Today, I'm going to show you why carter pins save lives, and here's why. Here's why carter pins save lives. So your ball joints, for instance, they are connected through your knuckle arm. When they go in, they have a little nut that goes on the bottom of them. But unless you put Loctite on it, it's probably going to back off. So it's called a castle nut, and you're able to slide a carter pin through the bolt and the nut, locking it in place. So it doesn't back out like this right here. So as you can see here, <clears throat> the castle nut on this ball joint has come loose, therefore causing the car to wobble quite a bit on the front end and shake whenever you're driving. So we're going to tighten this back up, put a new carter pin back in it. But before I do, I want to show you this. I'm going to shake this up and down. And as you can see, after a while of doing that, not only is it unsafe, but this can potentially break off, wear out your ball joint faster, causing damage, causing you to swerve off the road, possibly even hit somebody. You can get hurt. People could even get killed. So a carter pin can save a lot of time, money, frustration, and possibly your life by having one properly installed the way it's supposed to be. So again, we're going to tighten this up and put a new carter pin in. All right, there we go. We've got it tightened up. Now we're going to put a quarter pin in here. And there you have it. Now we've got the carter pin installed. So if this nut begins to back down, it's going to stop on this carter pin and keep it from separating, giving you a little bit more time to maybe even be able to put some Loctite on it if need be. In this case, I don't think that we need to put Loctite on it because a while back, they put a new CV axle on this thing, which is already rusty and it's not even three weeks old yet. Uh, welcome to the north. But I don't believe that they got this uh, reconnected properly because they obviously didn't put a carter pin in it. So I had to do that myself. So always make sure you follow up on your mechanics work. You shouldn't have to, but sometimes it's just a necessity. So there you have it. That's your little tip for the day. Make sure that your front end is safe and make sure that you have carter pins in your ball joints and tie rod ends. Uh, whenever you replace them uh, and if you have it done at a shop go back and make sure that everything is tight torqued correctly and the quarter pins are there because sometimes shops can be lazy not all of them there's really no reason you should have to go and backtrack on your mechanic but there are some fly-by-night shops and sometimes there's fly-by-night people so just keep safe and stay up to date on all your stuff okay?